Not all that wheezes is bronchial asthma. This is the saying of the 1930s, but it is still a valuable pearl of wisdom, as many patients presenting with wheezing are misdiagnosed as asthma. Hello and welcome to this channel. Wheeze is a very common auscultatory finding in chest examinations, and many junior doctors and respiratory therapists tend to diagnose it as bronchial asthma. Although, many a time the diagnosis is bronchial asthma, as it is the most common differential in patients having wheezing, it is good to know other causes as well, so that you have a broad vision during management. We will now go through the list of all causes that can lead to wheezing, and you will appreciate that we can miss a variety of important diagnoses if we don't know the differential of wheezing. As you know, wheeze is the sound produced when air is expired through a narrowed airway. Based on the location of the narrowed airway or obstruction, the causes can be broadly categorized into two main groups. Causes leading to lower airway obstruction and causes leading to upper airway obstruction. Then, causes related to upper airway obstruction can be subdivided into extrathoracic and intrathoracic. Starting with causes of lower airway diseases leading to wheezing. This category include the famous bronchial asthma, then COPD, pulmonary edema, gastric aspiration, bronchiolitis, cystic fibrosis, carcinid syndrome, lymphangitic carcinomatosis, parasitic infections, bronchospasms of various causes like from anaphylaxis, toxic fumes inhalation, post viral infection and drug-induced. Upper airway obstruction due to extrathoracic causes include post-nasal drip, vocal cord dysfunction, hypertrophy tonsils, upper airway tumors, retropharyngeal abscess, laryngeal edema or stenosis, laryngocele, vocal cord paralysis, relapsing polychondritis, cricoarytenoid arthritis, and granulomatosis with polyangitis. Now coming to the last group in the classification we discussed, upper airway obstruction due to intrathoracic causes include tracheal stenosis, airway tumors, foreign body aspiration, intrathoracic goiter, tracheobronchomegaly, tracheomalacia, and vascular compression. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Please like this video if you have found the content useful. Share with your friends and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications about future useful uploads.